Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. Over there is Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at 2024's If. This has Ryan Reynolds and that's where it ends for me. That's all I know about this one. First time watch for me. But as usual, I'm expecting Ryan Reynolds to deliver. Ryan Reynolds, John Krasinski, where can you go wrong? I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to watch this movie. Yeah, uh, really don't know anything about it. Uh, love Ryan Reynolds and just about everything he does. I didn't even know John Krasinski until <laughs> Answer just yeah, mentioned it right same. then and there. Wrote and directed. Um, but, oh, wrote and directed. So I'm expecting good things. Yep, kind of what they said. I know it has Ryan Reynolds and Walking Dead alumni Kaylee Fleming, who's in here as well. Yeah, well so means looking nothing. forward to seeing if you guys Shoot can get it. some of the voices, because I know some of the voices that are in here. I know one of them. Perfect. <laughs> you ready? Let's go! Yeah, there, there he is. is. I don't know he was going to be in it, in it. Yeah, me neither. My mom always asked me to tell her a story. Maybe it was just something to make her smile. It wasn't until much later that I realized that these stories Gossinger. she wanted me to tell. Whoa, what a lineup. Lewis Gossett, Steve Carell. nothing to do with her at all. The most important stories we have to tell are the ones we tell ourselves. Oh, Mandy Moore. Did wow. Choreography, that's interesting. That's cool. <laughs> it is. Been there. Good call. Is this gonna be like quiet place? Oh, I was Stop. In the next five minutes now. Oh, oh geez, no. Oh. What a bad time oh. on my behalf. How do you feel now, Dave? Oh, here we are. Was that couch here the last time? I don't think it was. It's a weird scene without a cowboy hat. Hmm. Damn it, John. Of course I make the the crack and then... Mm -hmm. That's what he likes to do. I kept every painting you did that summer in here. Oh, Grandma, I'm 12. I don't really do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Never too old to stop painting. No. Right. Done. You probably want to eat with him. I mean, you better something here if you like, if you're hungry. Shall I get you something? I don't see a lot of those around no, anymore, huh? The old sob? No. Except at that dealership uh, by Tom's driving. <laughs> they got them all. <laughs> we have a dealership in Appleton that's got a... Nothing but old sobs. Oh no. Look at the book. Probably in the uh, this. Maybe it said zombies on the bottom too. <laughs> yeah, let them know I'm here. We'll go from there and whoa. I'm in no state to dance, that's for sure. All right, she wants to go. Let's go. We're gonna do it. Yes, and you got it. Go. Yes. It's lovely to meet you, V. Your father's told me so much about you. What are they giving you? Oh, this? Oh, magic. You really don't have to do this. Do what? Treat me like a kid. Sometimes life doesn't always have to be fun. Well, that's true. Seems Doesn't like, stop us from trying, though. Seems like John's kind of acting like Ryan Reynolds. I'm not mom. I'm just broken. And I can be fixed. It's a very simple surgery. And I'm going to be fine. I promise. Okay. One day, it's going to make a hell of a story. Living in New York? Being a kid. Vader wants to talk to us. Potter just flew out. I was going to say, yeah. I was literally just going to say, it's going to be an owl flying in <laughs> yeah. with a with a howler. Hmm. That string is moving, it looked like. Oh, 
Uh, and Cam, Cam Rock. Yeah, watching old videos of when she was young or with her mom, maybe. Whose oh. feet are those? Oh, what is that? Looks like Lucy from Peanuts. I was going to say more like, well, it's up there, but. I was going to say more like mini mouse. I was going to say mini mouse also, yeah. With the, all the gloves. Nah. <laughs> she actually see it? Hello? Can you? Who called you? Wait. Oh, God. says. That is a lot of stairs. Drop a comment. Are there buildings like that that just don't have any elevators at all? Remember Dennis Leary talking about a was it a seventh floor walk up on the Lower East Side? Really? I think she sold me. What do you mean? Like in the eyes, and I think she. Hello. Please go away. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to say hello to your little girl. I just moved in downstairs, and I don't really have anybody to talk to. Who is that? I'm sorry, I was just... Oh, you better get back downstairs. It's too late to be up here. Yes, ma'am. She must have been afraid of her when she was yeah, a little girl. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming, too. Hi. Hi. Those for me? <laughs> <laughs> Want to play chess? TV's busted. What happened? I fell a lot. So arm and leg. I broke my leg and my coxy cozy. <laughs> broke my cossack. <cossacks. laughs> I'm Benjamin, by the way. I'm B. I like it. Just B. Well, it was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You know where to find me. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you have to stop. Never. Oh, God. Somebody says. <laughs> Again? Oh, yeah, why does she keep leaving? Just use, don't leave. use them wings and fly. I just poured some kiss. Oh, God. You need the phones out. He's going to find them. I didn't say I said it was. No, I'm not sure. You just got just, 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 just go. Say me. Deadpool. <laughs> With a beard. He's got his Amityville horror beard on. Ah. Bad situation here. Very. Oh, what's he going to step on? <laughs> what isn't he going to step on looking at that floor? Ooh. Hi. <laughs> she loves me. I heard she cried for an hour. She is the perfect fit. I promise. Did you did you talk to her? Well, no. It was hard to with all the crying. <laughs> <laughs> She was about to. Absolutely. Oh, that's Corral. I think. Mm -hmm. What happened? <laughs> got it. Whoa, quick on got it. Wow, Look at that Quick on the trigger uh, of that one, huh? You really, really outdid yourself. What are you doing? What? <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> not, not, not a spot you want to be in. Nope. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Better tuck the chin, kid. Hopefully she did. Do I need you? Oh, my. Do I? Need I do? Ooh, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Are you? What do you mean? I'm, I'm blue. <laughs> You're purple. Yeah. Well, he was colorblind, so. <laughs> My kid, remember? Of course she doesn't remember. 
She thinks you're going to eat her. I'm Blossom, and you've clearly met Blue. Me again. <laughs> and that is... <laughs> she knows who I am. <laughs> We've met before. A while since you... Mm. Since you've been up here. What part of Don't Touch My Stuff do you not understand? This was all an alphabet. Did you say you and color Kid? His name is Jeremy. So that house we were at tonight. No, that was different. That was a potential match. You know what? Do it yourself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so are there more of you? Say no. Yeah, lots more. I mean, <laughs> almost every kid has one. Mm. Had one. An imaginary friend? We say if. Get it? Imaginary friend? I love how they did that. What was happening tonight? That was a placement attempt with a new kid. Sort of a matchmaking agency to help ifs find new kids. But what happened to your kid? He grew up. He doesn't need me anymore. That's so sad. Yeah, more like terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> happy place, happy place. Oh, happy and croissants. You, you should go. Oh, come on, Cal. She's just a kid. I'm not a kid. Well, that's that. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Give us some backstory. Oh, oh. oh, gosh. You gave me a fright. Oh, God. They seem to be stuck to the pen. Quinn must have been making those. Um, oh, <laughs> I have some cereal or some grapefruit. I'm not that hungry. You let me know. You will. I mean, if you need anything. Look at how black that thing is. <laughs> is that how you make pancakes? No, that's how Diamond Dave makes hamburgers. Oh. <laughs> not even close, bruh. <clears throat> Mr. Well done over here. <laughs> 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 Says the guys who've never even had my cooking. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she does this. <laughs> Let them know in the comments, yeah. folks. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd our little guy go here? Oh, well, that's nice of her. Is there any food? Of course. There's a vending machine down the hall and to the right. <laughs> well, he's looking for for a new friend. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of there! But I cannot feel my legs. Give me your hand. Your hand. Give me your hand. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? I cannot be seen talking to you. You're just a kid. Hi. There he is. There he is. Who are you talking to? <laughs> well, he can't see. What are you anyway? An if. I know that. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I wanted to stop. Make what stop? All of it. What is happening to me? You are the chosen one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you could save all of us. All of who? <clears throat> and don't say ifs. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably let him say it, or I think his head may actually explode. Fine. <laughs> Just picturing him in the booth I with that. There's nothing we want more than to be with our own kids. You can help us find them. I help you place them with new kids. Everything goes back to normal. Careful what you wish for. Oh, look at that. Blue banana unicorn. Robot, sunny. All these, you've been trying to match with them. It's impossible. Why? I, I can't be seen to take you to... Where? After last night, you clearly don't know how to make this whole placement thing work. I can help you, because I'm a kid. Oh, I like his apartment. I like that. Like, If he's an if as well. I think it's really nice of you, by the way. Like, whose place are they yeah, who's who's going to? How long have you been able to see them? Oh, as long as I can remember. Wait, I've been here before. 
Really? Yeah, my mom took me here once. It's all coming back to you, is it? Wait. Oh, boy. Oh. It's with him? Stay here. I'm going to slip around back, grab us a key. You're leaving me alone? You're never really alone. Thought that was obvious by now. Says Luna. Hmm. Be going right to that roller coaster. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. Every ride. I like roller coasters. Roller coasters are amazing. Anything that Guy. spins me in a tight circle or roller coasters. I don't like it. The spinning one, I... I understand, but roller coasters, you're missing out. Oh, is this going to be the basement from us? I don't think it's that quite a, that kind of movie, though. Ryan Reynolds can be a sick man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. What are you doing? Oh, they're all good. Oh, Vicky, how are you? Here to see uh, El Capitano. Oh, yeah. Pete's party. You are real <laughs> professional headshots. <laughs> and uh, and in <laughs> Slimer. And out. Uh, Last week I was feeling pretty good, and then this week I <laughs> mean, cue the violins. Oh come on! Can you know she's a viola? Well, that's not. Nice. Uh, that's Aquafina, right? Yeah, yeah it's got to be. Right. They all go through something that makes them forget. Is that Matt Damon? Oh. What does it feel like? Is there light reflecting off the skin? Oh, that's George Clooney. I was going to say that's Clooney, yeah. So I need to find somebody, but I need to do it on the quiet, okay? Is that? No. Oh, boy. I need to see Lewis. Sure, sure. I think I saw him heading down towards the pool. Hey, Cal. Oh, good God, Cosmo. Who's the girl? What's wrong with you, huh? Whoa! Coke and dagger! <laughs> 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 Oh, Jeez! How kind of a kid creates an invisible if? <laughs> Come on. Oh, who's gonna be this? What looks like a bear? It's like Paddington Bear. Lewis, I have someone I'd like you to meet. It's very nice to meet you. She wants to help with the placements. Uh, oh, you know, it wasn't always like this. Old Calvin here used to be a clown. His only job in life was to make you smile. Well, not anymore. Because people are afraid of clowns now, or? He'll show you the ropes. Probably have you wax the car or something. <laughs> <laughs> this place can be anything you want it to be. All you need is a little imagination. Here we go. Something's happening. Nothing is happening. I think it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the dragon. Yeah, the looks, like Shrek. looks like Shrek. Uh, well, the Shrek one oh, didn't have horns. Okay. It was a little, a little prettier. I almost thought it was going to be Spyro the dragon. <laughs> I mean, this turned into quite the mind trip for Calvin here. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> mm. Sorry. <laughs> T-Rex, buddy. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Cal? Whoa. Hey, where'd you come from? Is that Bill Hader? <laughs> Bill Hader, I think, is a banana nut Patton. <laughs> Look at the tie. Oh, he a a tie a a Look at that mullet. mullet. Wait, oh, we're back with Tina? I think that's what's implied, yeah. Love the tie. <laughs> the cat. Oh, that's pretty cool how they did that with Tina. Mm, yeah. Let's yeah. <laughs> go. There we go. Hey. Just like back in the video. The homemade <laughs> video. Her mom and dad. Uh huh. That was the weirdest job interview I've ever been a part of. Glad you're having fun. So does this make us partners? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? Think Keith! <laughs> <laughs> 
Anytime I trip now, I'm going to be like, okay, Keith! <laughs> oh, she's getting the paints mm -hmm. back out. There is nothing good to read. How's your story coming? Oh, I don't have time for that. I'm telling you, Ryan Reynolds is a version of him. Because they're both acting the exact same way. It's nope. gotta be. As you were? See? <laughs> Doesn't even unwrap them, just throw we some random the chance. Chance. We still have a chance. Is the, the they're dad? the same person. Did we lose the dad too? No, because grandma said you gotta go see your dad. Yeah. I'm confusing myself here. It's probably obvious though. Guess what? I got a job. An ice cream store? More like a matchmaking agency. I'm sure you're great at it. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe he needs one. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? Nope. Want one? Boom. Sure. <laughs> He's just so innocent. Sure. <laughs> you can send him in. Hi. 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 Oh, why? Oh my gosh. It's just so exciting. <laughs> Sunny. Andromedus the third. You're doing great. Oh, she's so sweet. And where are you from? Originally? Philadelphia. Yeah, that was <laughs> rough. I mean, rough. Might as well move us to the moon, am I right? That's Clooney. Yeah, that's... So we were wrong. Yeah. Well, he might be voicing a few people. Oh, yeah, maybe. maybe yeah, I mean, if you're paying for George, you might as well get your money worth, right? Well... <laughs> But that's so Park sound had him as on as a dog. So grow well, you wonder if they're playing off of the gravity thing. Well, let's make him, yeah. 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 make him a yeah. an astronaut. Is he gonna hit his head? Oh, <laughs> caught it. Uh, <laughs> no, nope. he didn't. Nope. My bad. Are you ready? He's got a drag. Oh, Anything. The uncles. <laughs> the uncles were the best. <laughs> Sebastian, oh, he's such a great comedian. You just let me know which one you can see. Sure. Nope. Nothing? No problem. <laughs> Ask him again. Ask him again. All right, that's it. I got this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't look him in the eye. And I just want to say thanks for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't think he knows what he wants. What the hell do you want? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Ah, it didn't work. Sorry. That's okay. I still have you. Being excited is exhausting. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's get you to bed. I wonder if it's something about it has to be your own imaginary friend. You can't just take somebody else's imaginary friend and that's kind of what I was and put them into somebody but, else's place. It has to be yours. Well, I think though too that he has a friend. How did it go? Well, that's true. Yeah, maybe he already has one. It didn't work. Well, he already has a real friend. Is what I'm saying. Whereas when oh, she had yeah, an imaginary yeah, yeah, friend, yeah. she just had her parents and then a yeah. friends. All this time spent trying to find new kids, they stopped looking for their old ones. But their kids have grown up. All kids need their imaginary friends, especially when they grow up. Nothing you love can ever be forgotten. Memories, they live forever. You just need to find a way to invite them out. For me, it's the smell of the sea breeze. You just close your eyes and it all comes rushing back. Yeah. Ah, so back in the day, that's pretty cool. Like, <clears throat> you like something like we, we should talk about, like, hey, you know, back when we were. Yeah, she's remembering uh, her happy place. I think she's seeing his happy place. Yep. Love. Charlie? Given his age and the outfits of what everybody's wearing there, I think uh. that's his happy place. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> 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 Marshall is the best. Oh, look at the bears up there. So, like, the kids, when they would get them, that's why this was his happy place. He was a prize. 
I feel like we're gonna get some sort of big twist here that we're not ready for. You should get some rest. Yeah, he's coming. day tomorrow. Why? Wow, what's happening tomorrow? You gotta stop. It doesn't make sense that he's been in the hospital just hanging out for this long. He said he's gonna have a surgery, but why would he be there day in and day out? Like, well, and he's not in regular hospital clothes yeah. either. Patient clothes. Uh, Grandma, can I ask you a question? Of course. Oh, she gonna ask if she had an imaginary friend as a kid. What did you want to be when you were a kid? <laughs> what? Gosh. It's one time. Got a script for Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. I was a I was a mean old thing. I always dreamt of being a dancer. Your grandfather thought I was quite fetching. <laughs> so he saw you dance. Well, that's your grandmother. You're beautiful. Yeah, well, he felt so. <laughs> <laughs> I think six schools were chosen to perform, and the music just tumbled from the orchestra just like a wave. I was in a dream. So what happened? Oh, my dear girl, I grew up. I mean, let's be honest. Who wants to see an old woman dance? Can you some dessert? I had some ice cream. <gasps> Oh, look at that. Oh. Well, come on now. My grandmother. You're her if. Well, of course I am. She's right downstairs. She won't believe it. B, it's not for lack of trying. There's nothing you can do if they can't remember. Then we have to help her. So maybe that's why the little man couldn't mm. see these ifs. B. Shh. What are you doing? Oh, we had one of those growing up. My grandparents said those things were awesome. awesome. Our record player didn't work, but our eight track did, and then the radio. Damn it, she went through pretty fast on some of those. Spartacus. Spartacus. What on earth are you up to? B. No, 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 no. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Always kind of dig sometimes the anticipation shots of like, dun, 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 uh, are they gonna, uh, I, yeah. I will leave you go. Yeah. Huh? There she's Play. doing it. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh. Just thought of Miss Minutes right there for some reason. I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> I was thinking TVA, dude. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, look at And then she's got her wings. Yeah. So is he part of the dad then? I 100% think he is. Their mannerisms are way too close. And even the way they talk is the same. Well, he's more negative in a a sense mm. versus super positive yeah. dad but it still could be some kind of correlation though and the way the dad likes to play games and stuff it surprises me he wouldn't still have his if which i think is ryan reynolds but we shall see it says we should be on the next block so we're actually going to see him yes ah! oh nice <laughs> <laughs> He's on the move. Come on. What? Where? Let's go, 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 go. Double time. Um, is that the bakery? Yep. Oh, boy. Look at him. So fit. 20% of the third quarter next year. Please don't you cry. Come on. Look at me. Huh? How'd it go? Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. I mean it worked ish. Yeah, kind of. I don't understand. They were standing right next to each other. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to eat something. I'm starving. The croissants. That's it. Don't lose them. Attempt number two. The croissants should do it. I would think it's because the music got grandma, so mm -hmm. I think now it would be the croissants where I smell the croissants. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Boom. Oh my <coughs> god, those look amazing. <laughs> Oh, 
He's so stressed out too. <sighs> the perfect time. <gasps> there it is. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Polkum. <laughs> Mr. Griffith, they'll see you now. Oh boy. So I guess that's go it. Go in there with them. No, go in there. It's working. Oh, look at that. It's awesome. You're okay. Okay. Nice. I mean, that was just so. Oh. Oh, what is she going to see? Congratulations. She's laughing and smiling. Mm -hmm. I think we make a pretty good team. Yes, we do. There's going to be a gut punch at the end of well, this. Well, you, the, you know there's going to be. Yeah, so my arm was like covered in them. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't think there's going to be a gut punch. I mean, they already took the mom. Oh, uh, sorry. I was just out with some friends. Uh, come inside. Come on. Not you. Oh, no. Your father. I I'm sure he's okay. Just get whatever you need, and we can talk in the car. He's going to need Ryan to, to yes. help him. I just can't do it. It's okay. I need you to help me. Right here. I just can't do it again. Say goodbye. Then don't. You just tell him a story. Jesus. Hey, your dad had a long day. He just needs some rest. He's good. For now. So, I've been working on that story. It's a story about a little girl. A little girl who was so sad and so scared that she did everything she could to block the world out. She couldn't because she has this person. No matter how hard she tried to push away, he wouldn't let her. He would just keep holding on to her. That's the only place she truly feels safe. <laughs> so you can't go anywhere. I'm just a kid. <laughs> what happens next? Pops just had surgery. She just... <laughs> Yeah, easy, on the, just easy on stitches. that heart area. Stitches. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't see any of them. Yeah, they're all gone. Hey. Open the door. Are you trying to get in there? Uh, yeah. My friend lives here. I just wanted to tell him thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Finally, we get to see. There's no one in there. This is where she always used to play. Yep. All right. I think that's everything. Hey, we can always come back. Got everything? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be right back. No, oh, what's in the box? Was it? Is it gonna be all, all the of them? ifs that she made up? Calvin. Nice. Uh, well, so we were wrong, but not completely. <laughs> it was always you and I'm so sorry that I didn't remember sooner I just had to come tell you that I'll always need you 
All I have to do is close my eyes and it all comes rushing back. Oh, we're actually going to see it? <laughs> Ryan's like, pass on the clown makeup. <laughs> when I was little, I remember telling a story. I always remind myself to take a breath and simply ask myself, oh, what if? Ah. Yep, still. Shall we go in? Oh, God. Oh. Nice. Got it at the end. You look great. Mm. Love the beard. How old are you? Cloak and Digger. And it ain't too long, but I make you. <laughs> nah. The receptionist. Oh, what's, what's hers? What's hers going to be? Eh. Oh, is he gonna get one? Ah, is it the oh, dragon? Yeah, I, I said a yeah, dragon. Yeah, he had the little I mean, uh, but, thing in the but hospital. But it's his own. It's his own yep. dragon. Yeah, he had the little toy of it. <laughs> hey, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice. I was wondering if we were gonna see Keith again. <laughs> Who has an imaginary wow. friend? That's not really see him. <laughs> Oh, because oh. Lewis Gossett Jr. passed. Mm -hmm. mm. He'll always be chappy to me. <laughs> that was if. Look at that. Oh, nice little movie. Uh, yeah, that was, it was all right. You know, I, uh, it, it's, this is an interesting movie to me because I imagine it like being a chef and having all the ingredients to make a great meal and something just something just didn't click for me on this and I'm really surprised because I, I kind of like the, the, the overall theme that it had of, you know, kind of not growing up, don't lose that childhood creativity and innocence and, you know, imagination is, is you know, real important. But um, yeah, yeah, man, I, I kind of feel bad because like I didn't, I just didn't work for me if I'm if I'm honest. Now look, the hospital scene with John Krasinski and um and B uh I thought was phenomenal. That was an absolute five, hands down, an amazing, amazing scene, incredibly emotional. I love that. The the rest of it I just uh, you know did, it's like the best part of it was trying to figure out who the actors were doing the voices. I mean, a lot of the gags didn't really kind of work for me. Some of the characters, I didn't really connect with them. And at first I was like, well, they, they kind of rushed into helping everybody find their imaginary friends, but they didn't really have, like, I didn't really see why they needed their imaginary friends. Now we saw the guy in the boardroom, he was all nervous and really worked up and like, okay, I, I see where we're going here now with it. But, um, you know, and it, they kind of kept you guessing a little bit with, what was with Ryan Reynolds and uh, and with um, John Krasinski because to me they were acting incredibly similar. Like I swear, I thought they were the same person, and I thought that that was going to be the connection. Now, I guess it makes sense because B's imaginary friend was you know Calvin, who was a lot like her dad. So I guess that would kind of make sense, I suppose. But um, yeah, to me it just didn't it just didn't have the kind of like the heart or the comedic playfulness of you know some of like the the dreamworks and pixar stuff that we had now i know maybe that's not a fair comparison being that they're animated they have a little bit more freedom but they definitely threw the cgi budget at this one uh you know 110 million dollars is what i'm seeing here they brought up and you know kudos to all the you know all the the cgi folks who worked on everything it looked amazing visually um but like i said it just it just kind of fell a little flat for me um and i it's like i said i can't put my finger on it what it was uh it, like I said, all the ingredients were there, had some amazing, you know, performances, some original characters. Um, 
but yeah, I aside from you know the overall message of um, you know of not growing up and, and kind of keeping your imagination, uh, I wasn't sure what kind of if we were gonna get a gut punch at the end with you know with John's character being you know that he wrote and directed it. He kind of likes to to do that to us sometimes, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so a, a, a bit of. I gosh, I even feel bad saying it's a bit of a miss for me because I really did love that scene at the hospital. For me, that was everything. That was the movie. Uh, that and and guessing the uh, the voices of some of the uh, the characters were were kind of the highlight for me. So yeah, not uh, yeah, just just a bit of a miss uh, for me for those reasons. Well, you know me, I like to I have an awesome sense of humor where I love to like laugh at every little thing. And you know, this is one of those where I just, I knew going into it, I wasn't going to be like on the floor laughing, but I knew I was going to, I was going to be in for a good time. And I, and I was, I mean, it wasn't the best movie obviously I've ever seen, but it was a really fun movie for me to watch. Uh, you had John, which was Krasinski, which was with his pranks and hijinks in the hospital kind of reminded me of some of the pranks and hijinks he did as Jim in the office, especially when he had the, uh, don't tell Janet I'm making a break for it, when he had the, the rope going out the window. And then uh, the most powerful scene for me, though, was Bobby Mohanigan going, about to go into his, you know, the meeting where he's, he's like flustered, obviously. He just spilled his drink on him and all this stuff. And finally, his imaginary friend, his if, had him on the shoulder and he, he just knew he was going to be okay and he went in like he had the full confidence as the show said yeah you need your inner kid but it can also it's not just to be a kid it's also to help you get through life it helps you with how grandma remembered her past and remembered her dancing with him it was gave him confidence that he could go into that meeting and hopefully crush it i mean he walked in like a totally different person hey Welcome everybody. I think we're gonna have a fun time, you know, versus when we saw him in the bathroom, him doing his, you know, inner his monologue in the mirror about like how he's gonna present the meeting. So that's where I had fun with it and like the whole the whole underline about Ryan Reynolds eventually being that that was her F. I thought that was kind of fun. I mean we from seeing other movies you kind of figured it out real early on. I wa I was hoping like I like you guys said it right away, and I was like, no, I didn't say anything because I was like, I'm hoping they're wrong, and it's something completely different that he still is like that too. But no, then it turns out that he was Calvin, and he was the clown all along, and so that, so I'm wondering then that the woman upstairs, like, why she was the evil witch. So that was the little game that they had to make her go back downstairs and go to an apartment. But other than that, it was it was a lot of fun. It had me laughing in moments. All the voice acting was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that, and you know, I it's I mean it's a completely complete 180 from his last one, which was you know Quiet Place that John Krasinski wrote and directed. But for me, it was a lot of fun, and Louis uh, Louis Gossick Jr. that was an amazing performance, and as we saw, a final performance, and I was glad it was nice to see that they did a little dedication to him at the end. Yeah, I mean this was um, you know. It was an interesting movie in that, um, you know, first off, just the fact that it mixed actual people with animation. And I'm trying to think of of all the really heavy hitters that we've done. You know, Up was fully animated. Puss in Boots, uh, Last Wish, fully animated. Coco, fully animated. You know, um, it feels like a lot of the stuff that we've done. Mm -hmm. And so this is the first one, and you guys will have to help me if I'm missing something, but this is the first one that I can recall where it's mixing um, human interaction with animation, which I think can be a little bit tricky. Maybe even, obviously, there's there's the shooting side of it, the technical side of it. But I think even just as far as um, developing a story. Um, Answer brings up a really good point because I think, you know, originally when I was watching this, you know, I'm getting the, look, the, the lesson of don't, like, lose your inner child, you know, is, look, that's obviously front and center. But... It, they kind of switch it a little bit when it goes to the guy going into the interview because it's not like he dealt with trauma it's or that, that we know of right um, and it's not like you know something terrible happened but he just needed to have that like extra boost of confidence that extra sense of bravery that sometimes we have as kids when we want to go after something and whether that you know when, when you have an imaginary friend 
who's you know cheering you along that's just an extension of a part of yourself that's already there telling you that you can do it so yes we've seen a lot of movies like don't lose the the, the magic of childhood and, and sometimes that can be a little bit cliche but they did it in such a manner where they kind of switched it around and i i thought that they hit like all these different angles which was really interesting you know the notes that i have of course imaginary friends are kind of an extension of who you are as a person or who you need uh at a period of time in your life which i thought they kind of um touched on that i made the notes um never let go of who you are you know and, and the, the things that that really light up your soul which obviously the grandma she's like well i grew up and and she brought up an interesting point. Look, she she was too tall to dance and then she got old, but it doesn't mean that you always have to let go of the things that you really <clears throat> love just because something doesn't work out as a career or whatever. It doesn't mean that you if it's something that you still find enjoyment in, then then don't let go of it. Um, and I so I thought that was a powerful message. Um, it, you know, going back to the, uh, the the guy who was going in the interview, I think there's parts of ourselves we forget that we need right there's parts that are there that whether it be adulthood or certain situations in life that we go through like you forget that that's inside of you it's not something external that's something that already lives within you and sometimes we forget that and i think that was kind of the um the the, the interesting thing that they did with with the bakery and stuff and he just needed something to trigger his you know his memory they use the croissants and stuff but so i thought that was really cool um and and i thought it was interesting that they showed her trying to f like uh for the little boy that was in the hospital trying to find a match for him but that was the thing that i think was really brilliant about what they did is there isn't you can't find somebody else's match for you when you have that again it's an extension of who you are as a person that has to come from inside you need to tell yourself what you need for the things that you're going through none of us have look we, we all i shouldn't say we all there's a lot of us who have certain shared life experiences losing a parent there's a lot of kids that unfortunately have gone through that losing somebody having faced battles there's those of us who have shared experiences but even as similar as they might be everybody's experience is very unique and i think that's why she couldn't find a match for him um so i thought that was cool of course he got it at the end when he was there out of the hospital by himself he found his buddy so i thought that was really creative and um you know the kind of one of the big messages i got from it is look she went through obviously an incredibly traumatic experience losing her mom and when she had all these fears that she was going to lose her dad that's when she started like you know seeing all these ifs and you know answer kind of brought up an interesting point at the end which i thought we were going to get when she spilled that box i thought we were going to get yeah. like every care every if that we saw i thought was going to be mm -hmm. hers um somebody that she created along the way um, I thought it was really powerful when she stopped seeing everybody for a second there when she saw that her dad was going to be okay. And to me, what that symbolized for this film is she got into a space where she needed the extra strength. She was dealing with something, so she kind of reverted back. And I also thought it was very powerful that, you know, she was out there trying to help all everybody else find their if the boy in the hospital the guy from the bakery she was trying to find matches and her if was right there in front of her the whole time and i didn't necessarily think it was going to be the the twist with the dad mm. but the, the their hug towards the end you could definitely tell mm -hmm. that there was a lot of emotion in uh, ryan reynolds face so you could tell something was going on there um so i thought that was that was really powerful and the her imaginary friends got her through that period of time where she didn't know if she was going to lose her dad and so i thought that was really powerful it's like oh all of a sudden they disappeared that's so sad and it's like well they got they were there and he was there for exactly what she needed him for of course they threw keith in at the end for something you know <laughs> some some levity some good levity um I, I definitely understand where mason quinn is coming from um in that it, for me, I thought it was great. I thought it had a lot of great lessons. I think it's a good movie. Um, you, 
yeah, I'm I'm one that wears my heart on my sleeve. You guys know when we watch these films, there's been a lot of them that have that have gotten me some expectedly and some very unexpectedly. Um, I thought this was great. Uh, I, I wasn't shedding any tears. I'm not having to hold anything back when I'm going through this review. Um, so I, I did think it was good. I'm, uh, I, I loved some of the messages. I I don't think. Other than the don't lose your childhood, I think there's a couple of things that they put in there that might be a little bit deeper. And the one thing that I do think about this movie is I think some people who have had, you know, certain experiences in life where they had maybe had an imaginary friend or they had some sort of external support system might relate a little bit better to this. Um, I thought it was a good movie. As far as putting it right up at the top with some of the other animated films that we've done, that I'm not going to do. But I still did think it was a good film. It had some great emotion. Um, of course, as Mason Quinn said, they threw the CGI budget at this, which made it visually very interesting. They uh, they definitely opened up their wallet or Krasinski and Ryan Reynolds pulled some strings because they got everybody to do the voiceovers. <laughs> Um, but I, I, th I thought it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good film overall. Yeah, I'll, I think you guys did a pretty good job of hitting a lot right there. Uh, so I'll jump into the cast. I mean, this cast <laughs> was phenomenal. We had Blake Lively. We had Keegan-Michael Key. We had Maya Rudolph, Amy Schumer, John Stewart, uh, Sam Rockwell, um, uh, I mean, who's who here? Richard Jenkins. Jenkins yeah, that's, and then that's who the Emily art teacher Blunt, was. Uh, George Clooney. Brad, uh, Bradley Cooper, uh, Aquafina. I mean, Bill I mean, Hader, Bill Sebastian Hader, Go, Go, uh, I, mean, I mean, the list just keeps going. You're and right going with and Sebastian. Going. And then, of yeah. course, to top it off, lo and behold, the character Keith, Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> credit, <laughs> credit only. Credit only. Uh, but yeah, like you were saying, Dave, I think uh, with John and Ryan, definitely probably put in a few calls mm -hmm. and said, hey, we got this thing. If you could just do something, that'd be great. Uh, so it was kind of cool to see that all these folks, and there's more here. I just want to go through it all yeah, a lot, name yeah. by name. There's a lot here. Um, overall, I thought it was a, a decent film. Um, not kind of like you guys were saying, not the, the greatest thing I've ever seen, but definitely not the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, Kaylee Fleming, I thought you did great. It was kind of cool to see her outside the Walking Dead world being Sorry. used Grimes. Taking out walkers. Taking out walkers. <laughs> yeah. Instead of taking out walkers, she's singing and dancing. No cowboy hat, no Colt yeah. 44 on her. Yeah. Which we all know it's <laughs> Shane's kid. Which, there's no, if you're Walking Dead fan, Spoiler! you Spoiler! Know you're not going to watch it anyway. Yeah, um, no. So, uh, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, seeing which, him in here, was great. That was unnecessary. Uh, the whole theme and the messages in here of you know never lose that magic never uh or you can take it actually probably a couple ways the, the main uh, yeah. way i took it in here is never lose that inner kid magic of mm -hmm. imagination uh once that happens which we all do grow up we all get busy in life and then you know depending on where life does take you yeah you kind of forget your kid your, your kid self a little bit until you get into a certain situation where you're you know you're on that roller coaster and you're just screaming for life or uh you get on a four-wheeler or you get was, on a boat i was just gonna <laughs> say get a motorcycle get a motorcycle oh, you know, or whatever well, whatever it is like, painting yeah. for some people yeah. you know it yeah. could be just some hey, kind of us, abstract us art. creating this is you us using our imagination yeah even yeah. even this you know whatever it may be that makes you happy when you were a kid i mean even when i watch batman to this to this day i still go back to being a kid 1990 of seeing michael keaton and then he is my batman batman returns came out i remember getting the car remember getting another batman so even just little things like Dude that puts on his puts cape back <laughs> hey i used to put on a jacket that had you know you put the button on. oh yeah, yeah. Go, i'd go to my grandpa's because we had some small little barns that you could jump <laughs> off of and not break a leg so that was cool. Chicken coops, basically. A grappling <laughs> so hook. Just, he was just yeah. jumping chicken coops. <laughs> hey, you, you get like a little stick, you know. Is Diamond you know? Dave Batman He's again? Sword. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, little things like that. So, oh, yeah. uh, and I guess, in a, you know, in a way too, you know, uh, we could probably say anyone involved with any kind of source of entertainment, you know, keeps that mm -hmm. imagination going on, whether it be... Uh, whatever level you want to consider it at like this for john this one was definitely targeted for uh everybody uh, you know some could probably say hey dave it's only for kids or hey dave you know it's for parents but kids could enjoy it mm -hmm. i think this one's for everybody mm -hmm. uh so well done uh from everyone involved i'm sure 
the CGI, uh, the team there, good job by you guys. I mean, there was maybe one or two moments if you were trying to nitpick of what it was in there, but I thought overall it was great because this stuff's not easy. I know some people were probably in the suits, moving around and everything. As far as the story, I, I like John as a writer and a director. So seeing him kind of uh, come out of the Quiet Place 1 and 2 with the, you know, with how those were done when those were really good. It was cool to see him kind of come over to the flip side, which was this. And of course, I spoke way, uh, I kind of spoke right at the moment, actually. I'm like, oh, is John going to take out somebody? And of yeah. course, right sure when enough. I got done saying that, mm, it was the mother. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Go figure. I say something like that, and then that happens. But, you know, I would show this to my kids. I would recommend it. Um, as far as, like, rewatchability for me, I don't know if I would just... I need to go back and watch this. I, I probably would do one time just to see if I missed anything or some meanings right. on a deep end. But otherwise, you know, I thought it did its purpose. It was entertaining enough. Uh, and, you know... Steve Carell, uh, always great. So I got that one right away. Did you guys see that? Yeah. yeah. You folks <laughs> catch that? I caught Steve Carell right away. My, so, folks, I'll start it off. This is, this I would say this is a, a three score for me. Um, it? Don't know where it's four. Yeah, I'd say this yeah. is a three score for me. I, again, well done by... Under down over there to the right. Nope. <laughs> well done by John Krasinski. Uh, again, I hope he continues. I hope he continues to write and direct some more because, John, you, you are pretty good at it, my man. So keep that going. And I was kind of wondering, too, in the beginning if... Uh, just, let you just take this. There you go. Just take <laughs> I was that. wondering just at the beginning if, uh, right if uh, John was almost real for a second just because he was wearing clothes... All the time at the hospital. Yeah, that, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a little weird. Yeah, yeah I think he wanted to throw. I think he wanted. I'm not 100 percent sure, but every time I've been to a hospital, it's been some kind of patient wear. Yeah, so. yeah, and seeing that, and I'll go ahead with my score next. Uh, yeah, like I said, for me, this one felt pretty flat for me. I, I didn't really find it that funny, if I'm being honest. I think if you go back and watch our reactions, I certainly know myself. I didn't, you know, laugh at this very much at all. Um, I was. I thought the. The idea with John, is he real or not? What's going on with Calvin and John? Is there a connection? Because I felt they acted very, very, very similar to another. Basically, I thought they said, hey, John, do a Ryan Reynolds impersonation here. So that kind of threw me off and, and kind of distracted from the movie. But uh, yeah, the CGI was good, but none of the characters really stood out to me as being kind of silly or funny or uh, you know really anything over the top. So for me... Um, in the words of uh, kind of how Diamond Dave went, I don't think I would recommend this one. This is a two and a half for oh, I me. I said I would just so folks oh, could. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. you, I oh, would. Well, just you form your own opinion. Yeah, for me, I wouldn't recommend this one. This is kind of a skip. Like, look, they, they, they threw, like I said, all the ingredients were there. You threw every actor in Hollywood at it. You threw $110 million at it. And for me, it was just kind of a big swing wow. and a miss. Uh, aside from the hospital scene with... Uh, with uh, B and her dad, which was incredibly powerful and moving, that was a five. The rest of it uh, fell. Well, that's that's just like your opinion, dude. <laughs> no, like me, I had fun watching it. I would recommend it to people that just want to sit back and relax and have a fun time watching a movie. So, I give it a three point eight. Um, uh, uh, I've had an enjoyable time watching this. Yeah, I, I liked it. You know, I'm not going to say that it's as good as some of the other stuff, but I, I did enjoy it. And I think, like I said, I some of these, um, like I said, so, sometimes it's nice to just have like a really powerful lesson just slap you right in the face. And, and I've used the term spoon fed, you know, like the movie Up. It was as the, 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 the meaning behind the movie Up was as spoon fed as you could possibly get and it was absolute perfection. I mean, absolute perfection. Where this, like, I would go back and rewatch it now knowing what kind of the outcome was and mm -hmm. catching, we'll see if I, if I watch it differently, if there's things that I miss knowing that Ryan Reynolds, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds character was it's her, Calvin the whole was time. her if, but I, and, and I may have, because I'm like always trying to dig for the lessons, maybe I'm pulling stuff up that, you know other people didn't see or that i'm just making up but i saw a handful of different layers with this as i talked about beyond just the like 
don't lose the magic of childhood because that um, and, and that can be done very well also. So I don't want to like, you know, knock that um, that theme because I think it's an important one. So, uh, look, it's not going to get uh, a, f a five for me, but I'm still going to go with a four because, like I said, I thought the messages were dynamic. Um, but this is one where I certainly understand if if it did fall flat for somebody a little bit. I, I definitely get that. There's some movies where I will, I will, well, not physically, but you get it. I'll fight if, like, if I will fight you over that score uh, for this one. Uh, I totally get it. But again, for me, it had some really dynamic messages, some things that I think weren't, you know, really super transparent and on the surface, but uh, enjoyable. Uh, good for probably one rewatch, but I, it's not something that's going to be like, uh, it's not an up north cabin DVD. It's purchase. not a staple. It's not a. It's not a rewatch a bunch of times. I'd go back to see what I missed, but it's not something. It's not a comfort movie that I would just say, "Hey, yeah, let's let's watch it again and again and again." It so. was right there, like at peak. It was getting to like almost a peak emotion, like the the emotional roller coaster. I thought John uh, did fairly well at. Uh, I just feel like there was probably too many. I felt he kept down. it hanging. Like he showed the grandma with her if mm -hmm. at that moment and then cut scene. Mm. There was no pay. There's no payoff for it. Well, I think that you was know? when they lit That's up, fair. I think that was the payoff. And I think, yeah. I think what we were and, and I totally get what but you're saying. But we didn't see it from the human's perspective. Right. Like they didn't get anything. Well, out because, well, and I so think it was a long way around. Well, but she, I, mean, she but got I think the that's what they were representing. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I totally understand what you're saying, because we almost expected we almost expected the humans to see it. Right, like, and I think that for some people, like, they wanted they wanted that to be the payoff. Like, oh, the human sees that, but I don't think that's what it, it was because it's not. Um, you know, when we talk about imaginary friends, for me, it's not an external thing. It's something that's with inside you. So we were expecting them to see it, but the way that it's a little mixed up is that, you know. Uh, I just, just going to say Judith. She's seeing... <laughs> Kaylee Fleming. She, Kaylee. She's seeing Ryan Reynolds' character the whole time, except when she realizes B. that... B. It, yeah, B is seeing Cal the whole time, except when she actually realizes that it's her if. So I... but And I totally understand what you're yeah. saying, because I was waiting for that payoff with Grandma. Grandma's going to see it. Is it going to see it? And then when we just saw it light up, I was like, okay, but that's what it is. She and then was dancing the guy, for the first time since she was And then the guy kid. with the croissant, you're like, oh, my God, he's going to feel it. He's going to see it. But but they, I will say, they set us up for that. Like, you're waiting to see it. Yeah, it, it was the anticipation build. Mm -hmm. So they, it was almost, in a way, like a small, small tease of like, all right, it lit up. That's stage one for the audience to see. Stage two will be when guy, uh, what's his name, comes in. Uh, Brian for the interview, And then we f yeah. give you the big payoff of that. Jeremy. We finish the payoff for grandma at the end by having her finally actually see it. But, but for me, did, did uh, Louis Gossett Jr.'s character ever find his human? I, unless I missed that at the no. fair, or, or was it just taking him to the car? It was just taking him because they were all there, and we got to see where his story okay, began. That's what I thought was hanging up. One of the, one of the but, so, he was one yeah. of the bears, but yeah, to yeah. me, that was uh, B's spots because we see Dad watching the same spot like moments later. Yeah. So. At least in my eyes, it was Kaylee, uh, Kaylee Fleming's bees, one of her spots that she remembers with mom and dad. Yeah. And I think yep. that's where the bear, as they kind of went by, got introduced. Yeah. That's how I took it. I mean, well, I, may, I, maybe the bear was uh, mom's. Could have been moms. Could, could have been. been. Yeah, so. Yep. Could have been. But, uh, all right. Well, that's all enough of us. Yeah. That's all. So. the movie. <laughs> hey, that's the what opinions these, vary. That's what, hey, so, how many times did we say, though, that writers. Like John and uh, all the other writers, I mean, throw one out there. They want folks to have these kind of conversations. These are, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I completely understand. I was waiting for that payoff of them seeing it and not getting it. It feels like they let the air out of it until I circle back and I'm like, wait a minute. It's it, They don't need to see it because it's something that's internal okay. within them that they had when they were children that they remembered. So... But I, yeah, it's it's and I in great point. Look, people are gonna have their opinions. They're not 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 everything we watch is like, gonna be a nope. a last wish not or a right. cocoa. How so. dare you don't match my opinion, Mason Quinn? Uh, Only a two point five. Well, <laughs> well with that, two point five. How dare Everything's off the rails. I should have gone lower. This is not good. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed us. 
somewhat enjoying this Keith. movie. So <laughs> watch Keith. out for Keith out there, all right? So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's basically when I'm, of course, answer. Good night, We pals. all need a Keith out there. Don't, don't we? Does Brad get paid for that? I, mean, I don't know. I, I hope so. <laughs> 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 <laughs>